Hey, Pico Brewers, you finished fermenting your beer. Now you want to carbonate it and serve it because then you can drink it. So we're going to go through the process now of transferring your finished beer to your serving keg. First thing you need to do is put on your keg lid here on your finished beer. Your serving keg should be cleaned and sanitized. It also has a lid on it. For this next step, you'll need your transfer tubing that has two beverage connectors on it. You'll need your CO2 tank, which should have a, a length of tubing on it, and then it has your gas adapter. Take your transfer tubing and connect it to each of the outposts on both kegs. You want to hear that snap so you have a good tight seal. You may see some beer start to transfer over. That's what you want to do and it's normal to have some built up pressure in your keg. I, my CO2 cylinder has a gauge cage on it. This cage, which you can get at a homebrew supply shop, protects the gauges if this should fall over. They're delicate and you need to keep them calibrated, so it's a good idea to get one. The pressure setting for this process is between 4 and 5 PSI. So you go ahead and set your gas and then go ahead and connect it to the end of your finished fermenting beer. Turn it on and you can see the process happening. If you should hear any hissing from either lid, that means the seal isn't tight. So just turn off your keg, readjust your keg lids, and start the process over. You don't need to clean your hose again since it's already clean. Go ahead every 30, 40 seconds and pull the pin on your serving keg's lid. That releases some pressure of the gas. What you're doing is you're having the gas in your fermented beer keg push that beer down up through the dip tube and it goes down through the other dip tube and fills from the bottom up. And this low pressure also causes no foaming. At this stage, you don't want your beer to get jostled around a lot because jostling your beer, finished beer around can hurt its flavors in the finish. So the process with the low PSI and this gentle action is just perfect. You know it's complete when you start to hear a rumble in the fermenting corny keg. Go ahead, turn the gas off, and then disconnect the transfer tubing. We'll need to wash this keg and wash this tubing so we can use it again to brew. Now that the beer's been transferred to your serving keg, you need to carbonate it. So disconnect your CO2 cylinder Take the PSI and turn it up to 10. That's a great pressure rating to carbonate beer. And you go ahead and hook it up to the end post. Place the keg inside your refrigerator. The CO2 cylinder goes in as well. Turn it on, about five to seven days later, your beer will be carbonated and ready to drink. <music>